magnitude 3.6, 3.5, 3.1, and a huge quake swarm near California supervolcano. Hundreds of quakes east in Nevada volcanic field. This is it right here. There are nine volcanoes in this area, and uh, we'll take a look at the map more closely. But as you can see, this is an area full of volcanoes right next to Long Valley Caldera supervolcano. This is the mantle plume going through Baja California, going the tangent cross-section here, going through Salt Lake City, where we have eight volcanoes south of Salt Lake City. And then uh, that tangent goes through Yellowstone supervolcano. And as we can see, the mantle plume is very uh, close to the surface, right under Idaho, where we have the 6.5 earthquake March 31st, and quake swarm is still ongoing up to today. And that area is making that imaginary seven line. The west coast has that same mantle plume going under, sitting under San Andreas Fault and Walker Lane Fault System, where we have the Long Valley Caldera high threat volcano. And these huge, uh, huge in large, large number of quakes, hundreds of them every day. And we're going to take a look at the map, but just keep in mind that there is hot magma under there already. All right, here we are at the uh, map that we saw before, the Aurora Bodhi. That's the closest volcano close to Long Valley Caldera, right there. And uh, if we go into our map, that's Mono Lake right there. Mono Inyo, that's Mono Lake right there. That's Long Valley Caldera. This is where we're having our uh, hundreds of quakes every day right there let's go to our uh, map of the area long valley caldera it's a super volcano as we know and uh, this is a map of our area of long valley that's mono lake the senior craters mono lake that's a legend and this is the area where we have our earthquakes there we are uh, these are the blue are the past days earthquakes and the red is the past hour and all the yellow is the past week. We've had hundreds of quakes every day. And if we pan out a little bit, you can see where we are in relation to Long Valley. Long Valley, of course, even closer to that area, still has quakes as well. These are sh shallow quakes. So are these. And, of course, this whole area. We have more here as well. This whole area of, uh, there we go. Nevada is full of earthquakes. Salt Lake City right there is still having earthquake swarms. And Idaho is still having earthquake swarms. And uh, of course we have this area of Yellowstone. And that's the area of the mantle plume that we saw before under that imaginary seven that we saw before from Baja. The western arm goes here and here. And the eastern arm goes up this way, that imaginary seven that we saw before. And Salt Lake City having eight earthquakes south of Salt Lake City, Utah. Volcanoes, Surrey, volcanoes. Eight volcanoes south of Salt Lake City. And nine volcanoes stretching this way across Idaho. And of course, another eight volcanoes here. So this area is full of volcanoes, as we know. Now let's go back to what we saw before. Our map. Long Valley, that's Ridgecrest right here. And this is our Long Valley area. Look at this. Doesn't that remind you of what we saw with Ridgecrest? Look at that. That is, uh, has been going on for the past few weeks. And that is a new development there in that area of Nevada. Now let's go back to our 3.6. Uh, there's hardly anybody living there. And let's remember that we do have a, geolog a, a geothermal plant in Long Valley. Caldera. Let's go to our shake map. The shake intensity. Uh, we did have a four magnitude earthquake yesterday there in that region. And let's go to our population density, tectonics, and population density. Okay, so you can see there's hardly anybody living there. Let's go to our aerial. And that's it. 
And as you can see, that's Long Valley Caldera. So every time this happens, we have a shaking of the Long Valley Caldera as well. Again, that's a 3.5, and we saw the tremendous amount of activity there. Okay, so every time we have that 3.5, 3.6, the 4.0 that we had yesterday did shake Long Valley as well. Now, Long Valley Caldera is a supervolcano in California. The large 17 by 32 kilometer long Long Valley Caldera, east of the central Sierra Nevada range, California, is the result of a giant explosive eruption that happened 760,000 years ago and formed the widespread and voluminous Bishop Tuff. The caldera has been showing re unrest in recent years in the form of deformation, that is, it's inflating because of the magma coming in, of the caldera floor and earthquake swarms. It contains numerous hot springs and fumaroles in order to better understand and monitor the caldera and possible further changes, USGS established Long Valley Observatory. Now, smaller explosive eruptions of rhyodacite pumice occurred as well from outer ring fracture vents. The last activity was about 50,000 years ago. In its early history, the caldera contained a large lake where the new lava dome formed an island. Beach deposits can be seen in the caldera walls today. And later, the lake drained through the Owens River Gorge. The younger Inyo craters overlap the caldera on the northwest, but are chemically and tectonically distinct from Long Valley magmatic system. So that's our development there. And uh, please be very careful, all of you living near that area. OK, this is across basically from San Francisco Bay. And it's about, what, 400 kilometers away. That's it. You can see that we have a tremendous amount of activity there. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.